Welcome back to Element 14 Presents. My name is Mark, and today I made a very old game called Solitaire a whole lot easier to solve by adding an Arduino. To solve the puzzle, you need to jump one marble over the other and take away the one you jump over. But you're only allowed to jump horizontal or vertical, not diagonal. And remember, only one marble is supposed to be left in the center of the board when you're done. Can you do better than me? Let us know at the community. All you need to do to solve this puzzle is follow the lights one step at a time. You want to build your own? Let's go! Okay, now I've basically used a template to make little markings and now we're just going to drill the holes. Now I put in another drill and I'm going to use that to um, make some nice roundings on the hole so the marbles will stay in place much better. And there we have it. Before I put in all the lead strips, I'm going to apply a little paint. It's a water-based semi-see-through paint that will make it look a bit darker and antique. And gently apply that using a soft brush for this. Not only will it uh, protect the wood, but it will also give it a, a darker color. Okay, all the painting is done. Now I'm going to let it dry and then we're going to apply the lead strips. After applying some paint, I already put in a switch that we will wire up to the Arduino later. And then we had pixel LEDs, a long string of, of LEDs, and then cut them up to the right length, which is uh, four strips of five LEDs and three strips of 13 LEDs. And then when you uh, place them on the board, you have to put them all in um, the right order. I actually numbered all the LEDs, so it's easy for me to identify them in the software. So I wired them zigzag format, which means the string goes up and back down and up and back down. And we have to place the LEDs accordingly. We'll start here as number one and we'll end on the other side with the last LED. Now you can check by the, at the back, at the most LED strips have a, like a brand printed on it. So now I can see each and every strip should have to print upside down. One not one, and the other one upside down. So that way I can see when something is wrong or not. So it looks correct to me. Now I'm going to uh, apply the wiring. We have three wires. We have plus five volts ground and we have a signal. So what we need is uh, a wire like so. This is about the length. And the same goes for the ground wire and the signal wire. And the good thing is we have to do that one, two times in this length. That makes it easy. Okay, so time to do some soldering. First, we're going to apply the wires. And for that, I installed the microscope because it's just a bit easier to do so without glasses. Using a microscope makes everything big enough, which also um, shows you the actually indication on the on the LED strip that I mentioned earlier, the little arrows that are in there on each and every line where you cut the LED strips. And that's the first LED strip. And I'm going to mount them, mount it in place. And for now I'm going to use some scotch tape to hold it exactly where I want it to be. After checking the direction, just to make sure. And we're going to tape this down as well. And really the scotch tape is just a temporary thing. I'm just going to apply hot glue later. Do you like winning free stuff? Are you an electronics hobbyist? Do you like building cool projects and winning prizes for what you build? The Element 14 community presents Project 14, the member-driven destination where you decide on the challenge. You enter projects to win monthly prizes and you vote on the winners. 
What are you waiting for? Join the Element 14 community so you too can enter one of our contests or submit an idea for your own. Join now! Okay, after building the board, it's time to program it and for that we're going to use the Arduino EDA. I already opened the sketch and as you can see in the top of the sketch I have some comments which will show you the way the LEDs are wired and some more info. And basically we have a few arrays that will show me exactly what fields I need to update in the next move. And basically all those data are translated to uh, what LEDs will light up on the board. And of course each and every move change is also in a matrix and that's uh, the indication you see between moves. We have uh, setup to initialize the board and basically the main loop uh, all it does is look at the buttons uh, at the button function that whenever I press the button it will go to a, a function and of course we have the rainbow part which basically means that at the beginning of the game and the end of the game will show uh, some LEDs in rainbow colors and that's what's done in the main function. The real work happens in the button function that whenever you press a button it will move up a level and it will show you what lets to move, uh, what marble needs moving and it will update the playing field. And I do that like 32 times I think and then here at the end. Uh, all you need to do is uh, install libraries if you don't have already and for that we're going to open the library manager. You need to find easy button by Evert Arias version 2.0.1. That's the one you need to install and you need to install the Adafruit NeoPixel version 170 by Adafruit. Once you've done that, you can close it and then you press uh, compile and upload. When you program, make sure you have the right board. Uh, we're using the Arduino Nano and you can change that using the board manager. After having programmed all the LEDs, it's time for a demo. As you can see, when you start, everything is illuminated and you can just put the marbles in the playing field. Now when you press the button, it will indicate your first move. And all you need to do is follow the indications you get each time you press a button. Until the end, the game is resolved and only one marble in the center is left. Of course, you could decide to just uh, memorize the move and learn how to solve the puzzle without help. But what's the fun in that? And there we have it. We finished the game with one marble in the center. As you can see, it's a victory dance, kind of a victory dance. Some LEDs are lighting up uh, in rainbow colors. This is all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to build your own, please visit the community at Element 14 Presents we uh, provide you with everything you need. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'll do my best to answer each and every one of you. While you're building, I'm working on something new. So I'll see you next time.